Okay, a squared minus b squared is equal to what? And if you don't know what it's equal to, a squared minus b squared, then you're going to have a difficult time uh, passing algebra. You really can't pass algebra if you don't know what a squared minus b squared is equal to. Okay, and I'm going to explain to you well, why this is the case, and then I'm going to teach you what a squared minus b squared is, this rule that we're talking about, and we're gonna actually practice this in a second. But uh, first, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math, also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online video-based math programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that, and if you're interested, you can find a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, whether you need to take a full math course or need assistance in a course that you're taking, my program can help you out, offer full, complete, comprehensive lessons, much more than what I do on YouTube. And I teach you how to solve the most common problems you're going to face in middle and high school mathematics. I literally solve thousands of problems. Now, if you are a math student and if, you know, if you're watching this video, I assume that you are a math student. I have to stress to you, after decades of teaching mathematics, one thing is apparent to me. Those students who have the best math notes almost always have the best math grades. And the reverse is true. Those students who have sloppy math notes, no math notes, disorganized math notes, maybe their dog ate their notes and their homework. Who knows, right? Um, so the bottom line is this. If you really want a good indication of how well you're going to be doing in math, uh, take a look at your notes, okay? And if you've been struggling with math, take a look at your notes, okay? This is a great place to uh, start improving if you, you know, are having a difficult time in math. But in the meantime, if you haven't been taking great notes, you likely need something to study from. So I actually offer uh, comprehensive detailed notes. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can check out the links, uh, you can check out these um, notes if you'd like by following the links in the description of this video. All right, so a squared minus b squared is equal to what? Well, I'm going to share that with you in a second. But what this really uh, is, this topic that I'm going to be talking about, is factoring. Okay, so a squared minus b squared is equal to something uh, times something else. Okay, and this is what we call factoring. All right, and let me just go ahead and tell you the answer so we don't um, have that much more suspense. A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B times A minus B, okay? And this is called the difference of two squares, okay? This rule, difference of two squares, and you need to know this. You need to know this rule because this is a factoring rule, right? And some of this stuff, you're just going to have to use good old-fashioned rote. I don't know if you know what that word means, rote, R-O-T-E, but this is just like you're going to have to just use your memory. You're going to have to learn this rule and commit it to memory. Um, it's not one of these things that you can uh, like look at a situation and try to reference your notes. Okay, There's some things in mathematics, like in algebra, you've got a bunch of formulas. And a lot of this stuff, you, know, you take notes and you can reference your notes. But there's other things that you just need to commit to your mental memory, okay, using good old-fashioned rote memory, which is like flash car memory, right, just the same way you learned your ABCs, your one, two, threes, or whatever the case is, stick this formula into your long-term memory, okay, but a bigger point here before we get started on practicing the difference of two squares is you have to know how to factor in algebra, okay, I've taught algebra for decades, and if you can't factor, you're not going to be able to do algebra. Let's just say that much. And this skill comes up over and over and over again. So factoring comes, it starts off by you start learning about the greatest common factor. Then you have problems like trinomials, 6x plus 9, something like 6x squared, or sorry, x squared minus 6, 6x plus 9. You try to factor this. And then you, you keep building up a lot of your different factoring skills. And this here is a formula you need to know that is part of your factoring toolkit. Then there's others as well. But the bottom line is factoring is tremendously important. Okay, and it's also an area where a lot of students struggle with, right? So you can't blow off factoring and be like, oh, oh, well, you know, I'm not that good in it, so I'll just wait till the next chapter. Maybe I'll do better in math, you know, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll, you know, 
I could get away from factoring. So the unfortunate news is if you don't like factoring, you're not going to be getting away from it. You're going to have to just know how to factor, all right? But the good news is this. We're going to go ahead and clear up the difference of two squares in this video. And, you know, you either, if you like my teaching style, on my algebra playlist, okay, there's plenty of other videos on factoring. Of course, you can get into one of my full algebra courses if you want to really master this stuff. But, you know, if you know what the problem is, if you're like, oh, yeah, I think I don't really know this subject too well, then you're being told right now, hey, like this, if you start, if you solve your factoring problems or if you improve in this, your grades, your understanding of, of algebra is really going to go up or your ability to do problems, okay? Very, very typical weak point um, uh, in algebra for algebra students is their ability to factor. Okay, I think I made my point and let's get into this formula. So if you didn't know what this was, then that's excellent because this video is going to even help you out more. But I'm thinking most of you out there will be like, probably looked at this and you're like, oh yeah, I think I kind of remember that. So let's get into the difference of two squares. So again, a squared minus b squared. So this is the difference of two squares. This is a squared, a squared minus b squared. Okay. And the rule is this thing being squared minus this thing being squared. So we're going to write a plus b times a minus b. B. Okay, that's the general rule, the general way we express the difference of two squares. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this into application. So let's say I'm trying to factor x squared minus 9. Okay, uh, well, how do I do that? Well, x squared, okay, that's like a squared, it's in the same position, this x is, right? But I have 9, but I want to think of, I'm, I want to look at things in terms of, of uh, two squares. So I'm thinking, how can I think of nine as a square? Well, you can think of it this way. X squared minus nine is the same thing as three squared. Okay. So now that kind of fits the pattern. This is like my A and this is like my B. Okay. So now I can write, all right, if it's A plus B, right, this is the first part of the difference of two squares. This would be what? x, okay, because x is in the same place as where a is at, right, plus 3, okay, so just following the pattern here, times x minus 3, okay, so now that you know what your a and b's are, okay, by setting this up, you can just kind of plug, the, plug this in and follow this pattern, all right, so that is a uh, very simple application of using the difference of two squares to factor this because here you may not, you may have a problem like this. Let me, let's see here, x plus three over x squared minus nine, okay? So your teacher would give you something like this and I'll say, okay, simplify this problem. And you're like, well, you know, there's no factors here. I don't, you know, this, I can't, I don't know what to do. But if you know the difference of two squares, you would go, okay, x plus three, oh, x squared minus nine, I could factor that as x plus three times x minus three. Now I could cross cancel these like factors, okay? So this is where the application of factoring comes in to play so widely in algebra is by simplifying expressions. We need to be able to factor to do so. Okay, so let's continue to practice this. And, um, here we have 16y squared minus 25. So if you think you can go ahead and do that problem, I would say pause the video and give it a whirl if you want to follow along. All right, so here is um, the way we'd approach this. Okay, so 16y squared. What is this squared? Okay, how can I think of 16y squared? I'm trying to think of this for a second as a squared, right? And then I have my 25. I want to think of that as my b squared. So this 16y squared, you, if you take the square root of this, okay, you can do it this way. If you can't, if you, some of you out there, most of you probably can intuitively see that this is going to be 4y. A is going to be 4y because if I square, okay, I have a squared. If I square this, okay, I'm going to get back to 16y squared, which is 4y times 4y. So that's you multiply the numbers, that's 16 and the variables, right? So 
So that's 16 y squared. All right, so ooh, let's just kind of just being really redundant here to make sure you understand what A and B is, just in case you know, you're confused with this, because a lot of students would be confused. We're, we want to know what A is. So this is our A squared spot. So this is this whole thing is our A squared. We need to know what A is. So take the square root of this. So this would be 4y would be A. And then if 25 is equal to B squared, what do you think B is going to be equal to? Okay. So just take the square root of 25, so that's 5, okay? So that's what we need to know, what our A and B values are. So now, if you didn't see that just by looking at it, okay, it's okay just to kind of, you know, do it in this manner. So now let's follow A plus B. So this is going to be 4Y, okay, because that's my A, plus B, B is my 5, right, times 4Y, that's my A, minus B, which is 5, okay? So this is how we factor this expression here using the difference of two squares. Okay, so again, this is a quick like tutorial video on this. If I'm kind of going a little bit too fast or, you know, this, this one made sense to you, but this one's a little bit more confusing, then I would say, you know, maybe rewind the video real quick and see if you can pick it up. But if you need more help beyond this, you definitely want to check out either my course or you know, just watch more of my videos on factoring. Okay, so this stuff does take practice, by the way. Right? Don't feel bad that if you're not, you know, able to do all these problems right off the bat, then you might you might need to be able to, you might need to do more easier problems then kind of work up to like little medium problems and then get into more challenging problems. Okay, so let's get to this next one. So I have t squared minus 7. So can I factor that? Yes, you can. All right, just think of this. I have a square here minus something else. You can always express something as a difference of two squares, okay? If you have just a binomial with the, uh, with the subtraction sign in there, you can express this as a difference of two squares. So I have t squared, which is obviously a square, but what is seven, okay? How can I express that as a square? Just remember, take the square root of these things and you can express that as a square. So the square root of 7 squared, okay, is 7, okay? The square root of 7 squared is the same thing as 7, all right? So the square root of 7, if I square that, is 7, all right? And I want to have things expressed as squares because this is my A and this is my B, okay? So here, my A is T and my B is the square root of 7. So a plus b times a minus b, right? We're just following the, the pattern up here, all right? A plus b times a minus b. I can write this, this okay, uh, expression. I can think of it as the difference of two squares, just like this. So this would be equal to t plus the square root of 7 times t minus the square root of 7, okay? So if I wanted to factor this, this is how it, uh, the factors would look like using the difference of two squares. Okay, so let's continue to move forward and we'll do something um, a little bit more challenging. Of course, you know, these uh, problems can get more and more sophisticated. Again, you want to look for things that are expressed as uh, two squares. So this is pretty straightforward. This looks a little deceiving to some of you out there, but really, this is a square, all right? It's h plus one squared. So this is the same thing as a squared, but h plus one, this whole thing here is the base. It's the same thing as my a. So now, how do I figure out my b? Okay, again, the best way to do that, if I have four h squared, I'm, I wanna know, and that's in my b squared place, to know what b is, just take the square root of this, all right? So the square root of four h squared, is 2h, right? And if you're not sure about that, say, okay, if I take 2h and multiply it by itself, right, do I get back to 4h squared? And I do, all right? So that being the case, and all my b value here is 2h, okay? So, and here, what is my a value? My a value is h plus 1, and my b value here is 2h. All right, so now let's go ahead and put this all together, a plus b times a minus b. So a plus b, 
all right, is going to be h plus 1, all right, plus 2h, okay? This is a plus b, and then my a minus b is going to be h plus 1 minus 2h. And of course, here I can simplify this further, right? h plus 1 plus 2h, I have what? I have an h and 2h, I have 3h plus 1, and then here I have h minus 2h, so this would be minus h plus 1. Okay, these are the, this is how this expression here, the factors of it would look like. Okay, so I could factor that into these two binomials like so. Okay, so the difference of two squares, I mean, this comes up, you know, quite frequently in algebra. Right? It's just, you know, if you said, oh, okay, I knew what this was. Oh, yeah, a squared minus b squared, that's a plus b times a minus b. If you knew that, that's very good. Now, matter of fact, I'll reward you with a little smiley face. And if you were able to do, like, some basic problems, I'll even give you, like, 100%. But if you can't do the advanced problems, well, then you're not going to earn the, you know, five stars, that you, the bonus stuff, right? And that's the whole point of this video. Like, hey, first things first, why is this important? Why can't you pass algebra? Literally, I mean, you know, this is kind of an enticing, you know, video. Maybe the title kind of, you know, got you there. Like, oh, what do you mean I can't pass algebra? Yes, I'm telling you, as a math teacher, you will not be able to, to, to pass algebra if you don't know how to factor. And you're not going to have a complete toolkit, factoring toolkit, if you don't understand the difference of two squares and really understand it with the more challenging problems, okay? Just because you do, can do the basic problems like x squared minus 16, that's good, but you got to be able to do the more challenging ones as well. Okay, so if this video in some way helped you out, or if you found it educational, or if you liked it in some manner, well, why don't you help me out and smash that like button? I'd certainly appreciate that. And um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, um, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long, long time. I uh, love teaching uh, mathematics, and I put a ton of uh, videos on my channel organized in various playlists, basic math to advanced math. But, of course, if you want my best math uh, assistance, just follow the links in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.